Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In this tarot card reading, I'm going to be looking at the energy that is connecting the two of you, your energy and the energy of the person that you are dealing with. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There is going to be an extended reading where I'm going to be providing you with advice. So let's find out what is going on with your life right now, your love life especially. Now, as I look at your energy, I get the impression here that many of you are feeling a little bit sad, right? But this sadness is rooted in being neglected, not getting what you want from the person that you love, feeling as if you're not heard, feeling as if they can't really understand what you're going through right now. It feels as if you've been, you know, sort of isolated from them. It feels as if there's an absence of communication and it feels as if there's an active separation between you and this person. Now, some of you could be longing to communicate or to be communicated with in the situation. So I feel like there's a sense of wanting to have this person reach out or wanting this person to be more open with their own emotions, especially since you don't feel as if you have an opportunity to voice your own. I'm getting the impression here that when it comes to love, when it comes to communicating, when it comes to your standards in life, you have a pretty high you know, platform. You don't just settle easily. And when it comes to love, I feel like a person has to meet certain requirements. And so when you have these expectations of this individual, you want them to be fulfilled. You want this individual to be able to understand exactly who you are and what it is you need from them. But sometimes you feel as if it falls short or perhaps it falls on deaf ears. I'm getting that impression very heavily. Now, what is connecting the two of you? The energy is connecting the two of you is indicating a coldness, but there's also an energy here which is indicating stubbornness, right? So I feel like between both you and this person, there is a distance. There is something that makes it deeply awkward or uncomfortable to deal with, especially in terms of talking about your feelings or talking about their feelings. Now, your person's energy is indicating a great deal of wisdom. It's also indicating a deep sense of sadness and heartbreak. This person is not having it as easy as you would have assumed. Sometimes, you know, when you are in a relationship with a person, you can be in a separation from them and they wouldn't really know that you're suffering because perhaps there's some sort of argument or difficulty that is keeping the two of you apart or there's external factors here that are playing a role in your connection with one another. I'm getting the impression here that this person has become so lost in their emotions and I also feel as if you know there's this energy of someone having built up this tower someone having you know uh, this mentality where they feel as if they have to live in their own little world so this could be a difference between the class systems it could be a difference between you know um, the finances in your connection status educational achievements things of that nature Perhaps even the two of you had different upbringings. If that is not the case, there could be other factors that are playing a role. But it is present in this particular reading. So it is having some slight subtle effect upon this connection. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to begin the clarification process. I'm getting the impression from your person's energy that they are thinking to themselves, why can't you see me? Why can't you see my heart? So I feel like they also feel misunderstood. And they carry this pain inside of them, you know, without really letting other people know. It's sort of like a person that is gone on a journey or has taken a path into the unknown, wandering in the desert, things of that nature, with a broken heart. I'm getting that impression from your person's energy right now. They're searching for something and it could be a mirage of you. It could be the idea of what happiness is. 
there's a lot of um, lost emotions here coming across from your person. It actually is quite sad to see what their energy is coming up as during this period of time. So your person's energy is absolutely absorbed into your energy. With these two cards coming out, I feel like there's a sense of them connecting to you in a very deep way. It's almost like they're mesmerized by you. But there's something that caused this heartbreak. There's something that caused a sense of sadness. I feel like this person would potentially stare at your picture for hours on end, unable to break away from it, unable to you know, deviate from that idea of who you are and what you represent. There's a lot of deep emotions here in terms of this individual. There's also a lot of respect that I pick up from this person that, that they have for you. So let's see, why are they heartbroken? I feel like this person is heartbroken because whenever things appear to be going smoothly, they either push you away or they make it appear as if it's not as important to them. So I feel like this person is heartbroken because they have these sort of instinctual needs to either reach out or to comfort you or to love you or to care for you. But they hold themselves back from doing so. And there could be a number of reasons why. I feel like this person may have had opportunities to voice themselves to you, but perhaps held themselves back. There could be a number of reasons why. I feel like there's a lot of wisdom inside of this individual, but they could also be a little bit stubborn in terms of how they approach things. So that is coming across very heavily. Sometimes people can care for you a lot, but they might not want to admit it or they might not want to act upon it. And so they get stuck in this sort of cycle where they don't act upon their feelings, where they have a deep amount of love, but they pretend as if it's not there. So I do get the impression of heartbreak coming from your person, but I don't feel like you caused this heartbreak in a direct sort of way. They might have caused their own pain during the course of this situation. Now, the next card is indicating that there are other factors here that are playing a role. Apart from being, you know, deeply connected to you, I feel like there's other elements that are having an effect here. It's either their ex or your ex or somebody of great importance. It doesn't have to be exes in that sense. It can also be another factor playing a role in the situation. But there is complications here. And I feel like your person either feels threatened by competitors or feels threatened by the fact that, you know, at any moment you could have someone else. At any moment you could go off and be in a relationship with another person and they would be stuck with that heartbreak. They would be stuck with that emotion of feeling empty. And I picked that up very heavily from them. And perhaps they got used to being alone because it's something that has become so familiar to them. If they have been the type of individual that has been inadvertently mischievous in the course of your connection where they've let you down, they've disappointed you, they might have become like a lone wolf, you know, very used to their own sense of loneliness or perhaps rebelling against this connection because it just, it's much, much better for them to deal with it on that level. So I feel like there's a sense of wanting to give to this connection, but they give from a place of coldness. They don't give from a place of warmth. It could be because of their planetary, um, you know, positions in their birth chart. It could be because of how they were raised. But sometimes you feel as if, you know, when they engage with you, you don't feel as loved as you would like to feel. You don't feel as if you're connecting with a deeper part of their soul. And that could be for a number of reasons. 
I feel like there's been great disappointment in this situation because there was an opportunity for a deeper commitment with someone in this situation. And it might have been going in that direction, but someone may have sabotaged this. And so one person ended up being their own worst enemy in the situation. It could be your person. It could be the factors that came together and caused this to occur. So I feel like you are feeling incredibly frustrated with the fact that you keep having to fight for what you want in this situation. You know, you're not getting exactly what you want from this person or being satisfied in the way that you want to be. I feel like you want to be loved and they want to be loved. But yet the two of you find yourself at a distance to one another on an emotional and mental level. So that's very interesting because two people that care for one another can't find a way to break down those walls and be together. So what, should, what are the major factors right now? The major factors in the situation is that emotions are changing quite rapidly in the situation. But at the same time, I feel like there's an inability to move beyond you know, what is really happening between you and this person concerned. Someone is very much looking for a problem rather than a solution. And I feel like because emotions are changing so heavily and so fast, it's difficult to have that release. So what I pick up here is that there's no smooth transition of emotional um, elements. You know, it's like you go from one aspect of your connection to another and those residual emotions, they get built up and they don't really have a proper flow in a way in which that is harmonious. So I feel like there's things that become unsaid. There's elements that get left or get lost in translation between you and this person concerned. And so it sits in the back of your mind and it sits in the back of their mind. But both you and this individual never truly have an opportunity to get it out in the open and to voice that. So something is causing that. Something is hindering your progress with this individual. I'm going to be looking in the extended reading a solution for that as well as your person's mind, heart and soul energy and what is really going on between you and this person. What is the way going forward? I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.